Naturals, how's it going? It's your American English teacher, Gabby, here at Go Natural English. Now, I'm excited to share six tips with you about how you can improve your English on your own quickly and for free. Now, this is the fifth tip in a series of six, so make sure that you watch them all. This tip, I'm going to talk about how staying Currents with the news can actually help your English. Now, this series is sponsored by our partner italki. And italki is a great place to actually discuss the news with a native English speaker teacher. So you can get a special from italki that they're offering for you, my Go Natural English learners. If you click on the link in the description, promos.italki.com slash go natural English, you can get 10 US dollars in italki credits after you take your first paid lesson. It's really affordable and it's an awesome way to connect with a native English speaker and discuss whatever you like, such as the news. So how do you use current events or the, no the news to improve your English? Well, I suggest that you start by learning about the news in English with a special site for English learners. Two of my favorite sites are VOA News, Voice of America News, or Breaking News English. Now there's lots of different levels and lots of different articles available at both sites and you can listen as well as read. So those are resources that I've used in my own English teaching classes. Of course, if you are a high intermediate or advanced English learner, then you should go straight to a regular English website intended for native English speakers. You could look at the BBC or the New York Times or CNN or whatever you enjoy and look for an article on a topic in the news that you're familiar with in your native language. So perhaps consider reading an article about the topic in your native language first and then reading it in English because you're going to be familiar with the topic and simply learning how to talk about it using English vocabulary. I think this is a really interesting way to improve your vocabulary and to give you something interesting to talk about for your next English conversation, perhaps with an italki tutor. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you take advantage of the offer from our partner italki. In our next and final sixth tip in our series of tips on how to improve your English in a fast and free way, I'm going to talk about finding a native English speaking partner. So I'll see you there.